What's up, y'all, and welcome back to this week's Bourbon of the Week. If you don't know what we do on this channel, we take the bourbons in my collection behind me. We rank them on price, taste, drinkability. We throw them on a ranking sheet and we see who breaks down to the number one bourbon. What I need from you guys is comments in the comment section below of bourbons that you think I should be trying. If you think it can be number one on the list, put it in the comment section below. I'll grab a bottle. We'll see where it falls. But before we get started this week, I want to give a special shout out to the Flyers. Number one out of the round robin of the Eastern Conference. We're bringing home the cup this year. Sidney Crosby, I want to specifically reach out to you and just say what a great year it was for you guys. I really wish you the best of luck in the future. And I just can't wait for your franchise to fail and fail and fail again. Sorry to all my Pittsburgh fans. I do have a couple of bottles of wiggle up here, so. There we go. I do have a couple bottles of Wiggle up here. Those are from Pittsburgh. Buddy of mine, shout out Pat. Thank you for those bottles. But again, shout out to the Flyers. Pittsburgh, try your luck next year. But before we get started, I wanna make sure everybody sticks around to the end of this video. I'm gonna tell you how to enter our 100 sub contest and I'm gonna tell you what you have a chance of winning. And I promise you it'll be worth your while. So let's get started with it right now. This week we are going with Angel's Envy as our bourbon of the week. I wanted to kill two birds with one stone with this video. I only have a little bit left, so I figured I might as well do a bottle kill and a review at the same time. Angel's Envy, you've probably seen it on the shelf. I probably have just enough to do this review as well. This was actually a bottle given to me as an engagement gift, so shout out to the fact that I could get the bottle kill finally. It's only been, in what, almost a year now, boys? But everybody knows before we get started, time for the traditional sip. save a little bit of that because I want to make sure I have some for later. Not terrible, not terrible, but getting into drinkability on this, I can tell you right now, it is only an 86.6 proof. The mash bill goes as followed, 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley. Um, so I guess it's considered a high rye mash. 72% corn gives it a little bit of sweetness, but at the same time, that 18% rye is going to give it a little bit of spice at the end there, which you can taste off this, but I don't want to confuse the ethanol with the rye because for this drinkability, we're just trying to see, does the ethanol flavor stand out to us? And I can tell you right now that it does not stand out to me very much. There is a hint of it, which I don't like since it is only an 86.6 proof. It shouldn't really have too much of a kick. Um, I can't complain about it too much. So let's give this like a, I'm gonna give it like an 8.4 on the drinkability scale. Getting into taste on this, I will tell you that the bottle right on here, by the way, batch number 71B in case anybody cares. I don't know what it means. I don't really feel like looking it up. We're just sticking to the basics on this channel. But keeping the basics in mind, finished in port wine barrels. I'm not a wine guy. I know red wine. I know white wine. And that's about it. But I found out that port wine is a sweet red wine. So basically, it sounds like what they do is they take this. They age it in their barrels, which again, this is an undisclosed age. There's no age stamp on this or anything like that. Everything I found online though suggests it's less than six years. But then they age it in regular, I'm guessing, charred oak barrels and then finish it off in the port wine barrel, which is a sweet red wine, which I can actually really get the sweetness out of this. I was talking about that sweetness before. You get a real big sweet kick out of this. Um, and I looked it up when I was looking up port wine and I looked up the flavor profile that it's supposed to have after I tried it once or twice and it says raisin and I'm assuming that's from the grapes in the port wine barrel but you can actually kind of pick up like a dark almost like a burnt raisin taste. I don't know if that's a combination of the chard and the wine barrel but you can actually really pick that up a little bit and it's kind of an interesting flavor. I don't know if it's my favorite flavor for bourbon but at the same time it's definitely unique which I have to give it points for. I'm gonna give this a 7.9 on the taste scale. It's not that the flavors aren't crazy good. They are good. They're just not overwhelming. They're not overpowering. And to be quite honest, it's kind of thin, which means that it doesn't last very long in your mouth. When you take a sip, you kind of have to have another and then have another because it doesn't last very long in the mouth. Not the worst flavor, 7.9. Not the best flavor either. I just don't think it's for me. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a wine guy. Maybe if you like wine, you would like this a little bit more with that extra sweetness, that grapey, raisiny flavor. Unique for sure. So I'll give it points for that. But as for price on this, I can tell you right off the bat, it's not going to score crazy well. This is a $51.99 bottle. I mean, other than the cool look on the bottle, it's got the uh, angel's wings etched on the back there that you can see through when you're drinking the bottle. 
cool bottle look. Rissa's reviews would probably give it 100%, but at the same time, that's not what we're here for. We're here for what's inside the bottle. But other than that, though, you're not really, I mean, the drinkability is all right. The taste is pretty good. It's a pretty average bourbon, if you ask me, which I don't know why that recommends a $52 price tag when we've had better bourbons, I think. For 18, 19, 20, even $30. Basil Hayden's is up there at 40 bucks. So again, $51.99. I'm gonna drop this pretty low at like a 5.7 on the price scale, which is gonna give us an average of 7.33333. We'll just call it 7.33 and drop it in. I believe that's 11th on the list. Not a terrible place to be, not the highest on the list, but for $52, I think it's where it belongs. Not going to complain too much that I've already had it in the collection, and I'm definitely not going to complain that I got it for free. But I appreciate you guys getting for me, and I will definitely take another free bottle anytime you want to give it to me. So there it falls, 7.33 on the list. If you haven't had it and you want to enjoy a unique experience or you're a big wine fan and you like port wines, go out and grab yourself the bottle. Worst thing that happens, you have a cool-looking bottle on your shelf. So 7.33, 11th on the list. That's where Angel's Envy is going to end up. Not a terrible spot. It could have done a little bit better. Maybe I'll look forward to a couple future batches and compare something to the 71B, whatever that means. But I know why you guys are here. Let's get into it. The 100 sub giveaway, how you can enter, rules, regulations, and what you're going to win. So this has been an absolute crazy ride. I don't think you guys really know if you've just gotten into this channel or just tuned in in the last couple of weeks, how far we've really come. So let me just give you a sneak peek of how bad it used to be. Roll it. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to our bourbon of the week. What we're going to do here, we're going to change things up a little bit on this channel. I want to get back to the basics. If you don't know what we do, right here we break down the bourbons in my collection. Down into price, taste, drinkability. We throw them on a ranking sheet and we see who breaks down the number one bourbon that I have. I'm adding bourbons every week to my collection, so what I need from you is comments in the comment section below of bourbons that you think can take over the number one spot. What we have this week, Bullet Bourbon, the Old Forester 86 proof. Pour it up. Everybody knows, time for the traditional sip. Okay. But look at how far we come. Look at how cool the edits have got. I have to shout out my one employee. Her name's Hannah. She's helped me out so much with all of this. She's done a lot of these edits that you guys see. She loves doing it. She's going to school in Cali for it. Hopefully she can get back there to do it again. COVID's messing things up a little bit, so we're keeping her busy helping out here. So shout out, Hannah. But in the meantime, rules on how to enter and what you're going to get. And you're looking at it right here. Buffalo Trace. Buffalo Trace has done an amazing job as a distillery to make their products very hard to get, and yet everybody seems to continue to want them. I actually had a buddy have to get me these from New Jersey, found them one day, shipped them to me. Appreciate him for that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give a lucky fan a bottle of Buffalo Trace bourbon. I have two of them here, so don't worry, I'm not giving away my only stash, but I figured I might as well do it big for 100 subs, and this is how you can enter. So there's a couple ways that you can enter and there's a couple ways that you can get extra tickets. Step one, you must subscribe to this YouTube channel. Obviously, that's why we're doing these giveaways and everything like that. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to get more people involved. I wanna make sure you guys know the best bourbon. So hit that subscribe button, turn your notifications on. That's step one. Step two, and this is the most important because it doesn't tell me on YouTube that you subscribed if your account's private or anything like that. So what I need you to do is I need you to comment on this YouTube clip right here. Put a comment down below. Tell me who you are. Tell me why you like the channel. Tell me your favorite bourbon so I can go out and try it. That's the most important step. That's going to get you one entry as a comment down below. Another way to get entered for a second entry into the raffle. Lights out 203. Go to my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. That'll give you another entry into this. And the next way you can get another entry. And this is another fun, important way. On my Instagram, on this day right now, Wednesday, 5 p.m., I'm going to drop an image. It's going to be a bourbon giveaway image. If you go on there, tag three of your friends. You can also be entered one more time in this giveaway to win this bottle of Buffalo Trace. I'll send it right to you. Make sure you're 21. I'm obviously going to check. And then I'll send you this wonderful bottle of Buffalo Trace for free on me, all for helping me grow this channel to what it is right now. So go ahead, do those things, get entered in it. Win this bottle of Buffalo Trace, put it on your shelf, share it with your friends, and everybody has a good time. Thank you, everybody, for everything you've already done for me. Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, I'm getting messages, emails. I appreciate all of the support. I really, really do, but we're just getting started here. 250s next, and I'm guaranteeing it before the end of the year. Let's make that happen. Make sure you share this video. Make sure you show your friends. Get entered. Make sure they get entered. 
win a bottle of Buffalo Trace. The more people you tell, the more options you have to win. And there you have it. But in the meantime, as always, don't drink and drive. Drink responsibly. And please, wash your hands. Pandemic ain't over, y'all. Cheers.